Hi guys, in this episode I'm going to talk about stability. Well, remember stability was a concept we developed for cooperative game theory, and so we are going to use this solution concept uh, in the uh, context of matching theory, okay? So, in this particular context, what do we mean by stability? So, before I give you that description or definition, let me give you or define you two things. Uh, blocked by an individual and blocked by a pair. So, the first thing is the following, uh, blocking, uh, being by blocked uh, an individual. A matching mu, remember mu is a function, matches each student to a college and each college to a student. So matching mu is blocked by individual i. i here can be student, can be college. If mu i, the match of uh, individual i, is unacceptable for individual i, which basically means uh, being unmatched, phi or empty set, is strictly preferred by i over his or her match, okay? So, I mean, nobody can force you to be matched with some alternative which you do not want to be matched, all right? It's kind of an individual rationality, okay? Well, uh, matching mu is blocked by pair S and C, so one student, one college, if C is preferred by student S over his match, and student S is preferred by the college C over its match. So what's happening is there's a, a student and, 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 and college pair, all right? So student is uh, uh, Selchuk, and then the, uh, and the college is uh, University of Toronto, okay? So Selchuk is not matched to U of T, all right? Selchuk is matched to... Uh, University of British Columbia, let's suppose, and University of Toronto is matched with some other guy, I don't know, uh, Jack. All right, well, but the thing is, Selchuk says, um, actually, you know what, I prefer U of T over UBC because I live in Toronto and I don't want to leave Toronto, and so I, I definitely prefer U of T over U, UBC. And then U, U of T says, uh, actually, Selchuk is a better student, whatever, than Jack, and so I prefer Selchuk over Jack. So that means, you know, this, this, this tuple, this pair, Selchuk and U of T, can actually leave this matching, all right, this matching, and then form their own match. I mean, Selchuk may go to U of T and say, hey, you know what, this central authority actually matched me with UBC, but I prefer you. And then U of T may say, well, I mean, you know what, I also, I mean, the central authority matched me with Jack, but I definitely prefer U over Jack. And so, uh, well, I mean, why don't we leave UBC and Jack and then form our own coalition? Uh, well, what's going to happen to UBC and Jack? Well, we don't know, we don't care. But the thing is, we can basically leave the coalition or leave this match and form our own coalition. All right, that's the idea. So... Uh, so a matching mu is blocked by a pair if there is a pair S and C, which this is the case. All right. Well, then finally, matching is called stable if it is not blocked by an individual or a pair. All right. So a, a, a matching is going to be stable if there is no pair and there is no individual uh, that, that will block this uh, matching. If this is the case, we call the matching stable. So here, as you may have not noticed, the concept of stability is very weak in comparison to the standard stability concept we used in uh, cooperative game theory. Well, why? Well, because the stability, if you remember, talks about any coalition has no incentive to break the, uh, you know, the promised coalition and form their sub-coalition. So it doesn't talk about coalition of size one or two or three. It could be any coalition. Here, the, the, the concept of stability focuses only on coalitions of one individual and coalitions of two individual. What about coalitions of three or four? Uh, well, the, the stability here doesn't say anything about it. Maybe uh, a, a coalition of four 
prefers to uh, sort of uh, break the matching and then form their own matches. Uh, but the thing is, it makes sense to restrict our attention to coalitions of size one and size two. Why is that so? Well, matching, um, intuitively speaking, matches one guy with, you know, on, on one side to another guy on the other side, student and college, all right? So the thing is, if one student and college are not happy with their matches and they prefer one another over their matches, well, they obviously are going to uh, sort of uh, break the coalition uh, or match and then form their own coalitions. But the thing is, uh, what does it mean coalition of three is going to break the matching? I mean, two students and then one university. Yeah, but those two students cannot be matched with one university. One university, one student, remember? Or one college, one student. And so, for that reason, it makes more sense in this particular framework, in the matching framework, that we use a, a weaker form of stability. Uh, but this is what we mean by a stable match. There is no individual or pair that will block the matching. If this is the case, well, then the matching is called stable, okay?